What's up guys and welcome to another installment of AA Computers and Technology and during this episode I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support you gave me during the bot attack. All my subscribers came together, liked all my videos, really brought the, the ratings back up and the bot attack didn't really do anything. I was checking analytics and the user engagement is way, 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 way up thanks to the bot attack. Um, which is funny because the views have increased, my profits have increased in the last couple days just from the bot attack, so everything's going great um, with that. So really awesome, and I think the guy that did that actually gave up um, because he wasn't having any negative effect on the channel. I mean, with time, all the videos, um, their ratings are going to go back to normal because it's great content, uh, everything's there uh, that the viewers want to be there. Um, so I think in the long run, we're actually fine. <laughs> so. Definitely feeling great right now. I'm ready to make this video. Let's go ahead and get started. So lately, I've actually been getting really bored with the videos I've been creating. You know, usually I have a lot of fun with them. And then in the past couple videos I've made, it's just been all software related. Uh, Windows 7 running on different types of hardware. So I want to get away from that and move over to the hardware side. So you can see this GeForce TI 200 video card right here. And today, we're going to see what happens when you put a video card in the dishwasher. You heard me right, we were going to be taking this GeForce 3 Ti200 and running it through a wash cycle. So I picked this card up a couple weeks ago at a garage sale and it only cost me $1. So I'm not going to lose too much if this uh, fails and everything goes wrong and I completely destroy the card. But in theory, if everything is properly discharged, the, no power is running to the uh, video card, nothing should really happen when we run it through water. Uh, if it was deionized water, there would be a 100% chance that it would come out functional. Um, since this isn't deionized water, uh, something may happen. So we'll throw it in the washer, see what happens. Um, I'm gonna try to put a camera in there. Uh, I have a waterproof camera laying around somewhere, but the lighting is gonna be an issue because obviously in the dishwasher, it's completely dark. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Obviously. This PC is right here because we're going to test the card out first to make sure it is indeed working uh, when we uh, or before we put it in. So that's what I'm going to do first here. When I bought this card, I didn't even bother to test it. I just assumed it worked. So hopefully it does work or else I'm gonna have to shoot a whole section of this video all over again. So I'm gonna power on the PC now. And it should come up with the power on self test. There we go, so the card does work. Let's go ahead, go over to the dishwasher and throw this thing in. And I cannot wait for this, this is going to be really interesting, but here's the camera that we're going to be sticking in the dishwasher as well. Singer LED on here to light everything up, so not sure how great the footage is going to come out. I'm only going to leave it in the dishwasher for um, a couple minutes because I don't want to ruin this camera, uh, because this isn't even my camera, so <laughs> I shouldn't even be putting this in the dishwasher. But I'm going to be taking this card, I'm going to throw it in here, I'm going to take the camera, put it right here, and we're going to get a nice little shot of this thing getting washed. There we go. So that should be fine. I'm going to take this camera, stick it right here and have it record, and then I'll start the wash cycle. All right, so turning the camera on now. Okay, we want to record. You see that LED is on, so I'm going to stick it right here. Probably right here is the best place to get a good shot. There we go. Roll it in. Ah, carefully, very carefully. And we're going to start a very light cycle. All right, so it is running, and the card is in there.
Alright, so the wash cycle has finished and as you can see I did actually open the washer up before this just to make sure the uh, the, the PCB and all the wires and stuff didn't turn into a, uh, a complete mess because I realized I had it on the uh, heated wash cycle and that might have melted stuff but actually it didn't which is uh, which is good definitely didn't want that to happen I'm gonna pull the board out here it's actually still hot and as you can see this thing is now squeaky clean so obviously next this thing needs to be dried so for a couple hours I'm just gonna leave it here with this fan on it and then we'll throw it back in the PC and see if this card is dishwasher safe at this point, it's been about five hours and I believe the card has been sufficiently dried. So I'm gonna go ahead, shoot this all in one take. I am really excited to see if this card still works. So I'm gonna put the camera down right here, take the card, throw it in the PC, hook up the monitor, and hopefully we'll boot up into the power on self test. All right. I'm just gonna put the card in the AGP slot. Card is in. I'm gonna hook it up to the monitor. The system is still off. Bring the monitor up here. Turn the computer on and pray that there's nothing wrong with this card after we put it through the uh, wash. So I'm gonna bring the tripod over here and let's go ahead and see if the card is still functional. Crossing my fingers. And look at that, it worked. The card is still functional. Can you believe that? That is awesome. So real quick before I end this, I do want to bring you guys into the system and show you guys that the card is the card that we put through the wash. No fancy editing here or anything. So that is the GeForce TI 200 video card. And that is the output being displayed from this video card. So pretty inc incredible. This card uh, survived the wash. Um, really awesome. And then if you take a look at the card, the fan is also still functional. So everything is working great so far. Alright, so I think from the results we can conclude that video cards, or at least this video card, is dishwasher safe. So on that note, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can post a comment in the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe, share, and like uh, this video. And I will see you in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology.